Hello, I'm going to read you our close reader story this week. Um, I'm just going to read it to you and you guys can follow along. What I would like you to do is go back and do the activities that are in the close reader on your own or with, you know, mom or dad. So we're going to go ahead and start with Finding Fossils for Fun by Alice Carey. The background information is fossils may be old bones. They also may be shapes of old animal skeletons or plants that are preserved or saved when they press against rock. Fossils are important because they tell scientists what life was like a long time ago. Setting a purpose, this is why we're reading. Read the text to learn about finding fossils. Okay, so you guys are gonna go back and do these activities. You see how it says number one here? So we always read a text at least two times, right? So I'm gonna read it this time and then you can go back and do the activity. Have you ever hunted for fossils? People often find them by accident. In 2007, a Florida high school student and her friends went to a creek to take photos for a school project. They saw lots of bones in the water. The girls were surprised. They had found the remains of an ice age mammoth. Scientists began digging at the creek. Soon they were uncovering other animal skeletons. Fossils. See how it has a second activity here you need to do? Fossils are evidence of ancient life. Sometimes dirt or sand covers leaves and bones. Layers of dirt and sand protect these remains from damage. The layers build up as time passes. After many years, the remains harden and become fossils. You can see an example of it over here. You may find fossils buried near you. The chart on the next page gives you tips for hunting them. Now, we've already hunted them, so these tips are going to be cool when you guys have time off and you can just do it on your own at home. So at the bottom of this page, there is a short response, and it says, cite text evidence. That means we need to say, I know this because, and then use your quote around what you took out of the text. All right, so if you look at this page, we have a lovely little graph and it's giving us a hunting guide. Hunting guide. Where to look? Layers of rock, layers of sand or mud, deserts, canyons, cliffs, hills, and mountains. What to hunt? Eggs and nests, footprints, leaf impressions, and shells. Tools you might need? Hammer and a chisel, notebook, pen and a camera, plastic box or newspaper and rubber, Bands for carrying finds. Searching tips, these will be helpful. Work carefully so you don't miss anything. Take notes to keep track of where each discovery was found. Look for things that seem unusual or out of place. Right. All right, you're never too young to find fossils. David Schiffler loves Fierce dinosaurs. In 1995, when he was only three years old, David dug up a green rock. He called it a dinosaur egg. David's father took the rock to a museum a few, a few months later. David was right. He had found a piece of a dinosaur egg. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Scientists could prove it. The egg was about 150 million years old. All right, guys, so that's the end of this. What you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to start from the beginning and read it again and follow the directions. It has the little numbers there, and it has some writing activities for you to do, too. As always, go ahead and contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.